previously on the New Art Channel. A license plate holder. How cool is that? A man jacks up a car. James breaks stuff. And off comes the bumper. <laughs> so hi there. So I was all excited because one of my compatriots here in Quebec uh, has developed a bicycle rack trailer hitch uh, that just bolts on to the back of the Porsche drop top. I said, that's great. It looks really neat. I put the links in the description below. If you have a 986 or a 996, this is a great solution. Now, he's not sponsoring this video or anything. I just think it's a cool product. But, caveat, if you have a 987 or a 997, that is a Boxster, later model Boxster, Cayman, or a Carrera, this solution will unfortunately not work for you. I almost jumped, jumped in and bought one, but then he said, hmm, it doesn't work for a 987. I said, hmm, why not? It seems to me it's the same thing. Well, no, it's not. Because of the difference, Porsche has changed the bumperettes. Instead of being the black rubber ones that were held on with Allen bolts, if you have one of the later model cars, it has the bumperettes integrated into the bumper cover. Now, they're painted the same color as the bumper cover, which is pretty cool, but you cannot remove them from the outside. You have to go inside, which means you have to remove the bumper cover to release the tabs to take those off. So obviously, this is not a solution because we're not going to be doing that every time I want to switch off my uh, trailer hitch to go to the track. But what we do have, is the new art trailer hitch and here it is so let's get this trailer hitch on that boxster so here you can see uh, uh, these quarter inch bolts here that are mounted these are for permanent attached to this plate in the back so it's a 3 8 inch 4 by 8 inch steel plate that I drilled these holes and tapped out uh, so that I didn't need nuts on the back. So I spaced the holes a little bit wider like here. Uh, essentially that's because um, this because of the indentation here uh, there's the wall of this U part here. The wall sort of interferes with where I would put them normally if I wanted to match them up with the, uh, the holes in the trailer hitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down on this part here. I'm just gonna open this up and make it a slot. Line this one up with the hole and then just slot, sl slide this one in and it'll be uh, plenty strong enough for, uh, to, to hold the trailer hitch in place. So let's see if we can tap these out. Now I've drilled holes here. These are uh, for half inch is a 27 64th inch drill. That's the for to tap them in order to use this half inch 13 NC uh, tap. Now try to get this on straight. This is always the hard part. Make sure you get in there nice and square. And tapping down, back off, click, and yeah, looks like we're almost through. There, lovely, one down, three go. I had to do this one, I had to uh, Cut my heat shield a little bit so that, because this right here, this is the uh, the metal plate. So obviously this is going to push it out a uh, quarter inch or three eighths an inch or whatever this is. And uh, so I, I had to cut around here and tap it all into place.
So, there you go. Click on that handsome racer dude to subscribe to my Porsche Do-It-Yourself channel. Ring that bell not to miss my upcoming coilover installation. Ciao.